Welcome, crypto fam, to the number one daily Bitcoin pod. Congratulations to all the Bitcoin hodlers. We just tapped 72.5. We're only like one or two percentage points away from price discovery. Make some noise for that. Uh, in today's show, I'll be sharing the latest technical analysis, including Eric Balchunas. U.S. spot ETFs are scheduled to hit 1 million Bitcoin held by next Wednesday and pass Satoshi by mid-December before their first birthday Amazing. It truly is. We'll also be discussing Bitcoin's path to 80,000 per coin, fueled by the bullish derivative trend. I'll be breaking that down for you. As well as Bhutan government moves 66 million of the Bitcoin stash to Binance as the price tops now 72 Gs. We'll also be discussing Emory University holds 15 million in Bitcoin ETFs, according to their latest filing. We'll also be sharing Bitcoin open interest nears 23 billion as analysts warns of a Bitcoin price euphoria send it we'll also be discussing a million dollar bitcoin revisiting a classic kaiser prediction from 11 years ago today we'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market all this plus so much more in today's historic show so you already know If you're new to the channel, very important to smash the likes, go ahead and subscribe. Then hit the bell icon, turn on all notifications. Today is pod episode 1802. I'm your host, JV. It's October 29th, 2024. And Bitcoin, October in full swing, 72,500 right now. We're on the cusp of price discovery. This is history in the making. How high will she climb? 88 Gs in play. Let's send it. But anyways, fam, let's kick it off with our market watch. As we do each and every day. Can you feel the excitement in my voice? And this is non-caffeinated JV. This is just Bitcoin caffeine. If you feel what I'm saying, uh, Bitcoin up five and a half percent on the day, and we're just getting started. Uh, trading roughly at seventy-two thousand five hundred, which is obviously we haven't seen price action like this since mid-March when we had the seventy-three eight all-time high, and we're on the cusp of reclaiming it right now. Even Ethereum up six percent, trading just shy of twenty-seven hundo. The majority of the alts uh, pumping and in the green. Checking out Coin Market Cap Com. Uh, we currently sitting on a 2.44 trillion market cap as it continues to soar. The Bitcoin market cap 1.43 trillion also continuing to soar. We got 105 billion worth of volume of the past 24 hours. Bitcoin dominance also on the climb at 58.8% with the Ether dominance holding on to 17 13.1%. Um, <laughs> and checking out the top 100 crypto gainers past 24 hours, we got Sui up 22%. We got Popcat up 20%. We got Doge up 17%. Jesus. Uh, meme coin uh, extravaganza right now. Even uh, what's it called? Uh, Sheeb uh, is pumping, Dog with Whiff, all these meme coins, Pepe, etc. But which alts, if any, are you bullish on for the bull? I'll let your boy. And checking out the crypto bubbles, we get a visual perspective on the daily. Everything is in the green. You got to love it. We live for days like this, broskies. And zooming out on a monthly, I'd say it's like a 50-50 ordeal here. 50% uh, in, in the green, 50% in the red. And checking out the Crypto Green and Fear Index. Today is a 72. Yesterday is 72. Last week is 70. And last month is 63 in greed. And checking out the time chain calendar. There's 182,000 blocks to go into the next halving of 2028. We are currently sitting at 867,947th block. And you can currently exchange $1 for 1,395 Satoshis. A, few, a couple of weeks ago, you could have got 1,800 Satoshis per dollar. Today, you're less than 1,400. And that number is only going to get lower and lower and lower and lower as the Bitcoin market continues to explode here in October heading into November bull. So there you have it, yo. Welcome everyone to the live stream. Don't call it a comeback. Bitcoin's been here for years. Peer to peer. Pick the suckers to fear. But anyways, uh, let's get right into today's technical analysis. Check out some of the live charts because the charts are lit like a mofo right now at 73, fast approaching. Bitcoin bulls charge towards 73 as analysts set six-figure Bitcoin price targets. 
six figures. Let's motherfucking go. Here you're looking at the daily chart. I'll be pulling up the live chart here in just a bit, but we're continuing to climb up 6% to set a 20 week high. That's what's up. We haven't seen price action like this in 20 weeks, family. Now, a company in the Bitcoin price performance is a leap of trading volume, which stands at almost 48 billion and nearly doubling the volume seen October 28th, according to data from CoinMarketCap. The move led to over 78 million in shorts being liquidated. Take that shorts. And in the words of Bart Simpson, eat my shorts, ha <laughs> ha, which may have contributed to the price spike, hires traders closing their losing bets. Now, Bitcoin's ongoing rally has seen the price flip key areas into potential strong support, namely that 70,000 psychological level, which we melted like butter. Now, analyst Jelly uh, shared the following, uh, one last hurdle before price discovery, referring to the supply zone between 72 and the all-time high of 73.8, and we're on the cusp of reclaiming it live it in the flesh. He also points out Bitcoin is heading back to the strong resistance zone at around 71 to 73. Let me know if you agree. Now, Bitcoin's performance October 28th sparked optimism amongst analysts. You can say that again. We're now making predictions as high as how high Bitcoin price can go during this cycle. Guess what? Bitcoin has no top. Fiat has no bottom. We have the old man, Peter Brandt, says Bitcoin price action presented three scenarios based on the two chart patterns, a five-month inverted expanding triangle and a historical pattern based on the Bitcoin halvings. The first one involved a measured move from the triangle with a target set for 94 Gs. The second scenario involved a swing target determined by projecting the November 2022 low uh, to March 2024 high upward from August 5th, ultimately showing a $235,000 target. Send it. I'm so ready. And he also presented a beautiful symmetry of the past Bitcoin bull market cycles, projecting the bull market cycle high to occur in late August of next year or early September bull of 2025, set in the peak between 130 and 150 thousand dollars. Let me know if you agree or disagree. The X on the chart marks the probable high date and the price level is outlined on the chart. So there you have it. Also, we have the Pi cycle suggesting 150,000 perfectly possible. Let me know if you agree with some of this. And also quoting ETF expert Balchunez, US spot ETFs are scheduled to hit 1 million Bitcoin held by next Wednesday, past the Satoshi wallets by mid-December. They've been adding about 17,000 biddies per day. That said, anything can happen. Happen. An example of violent sell-off and all this delayed, albeit still inevitable and on the flip. If the prices keep going up, Trump wins. We could see FOMO kick in and it could all happen very faster. Stay tuned. And it doesn't lie. The numbers right here. Top Bitcoin hodlers of the world. Satoshi, 1.1 million biddies. Binance, 667,000. BlackRock, 408,000. Grayscale, 254,000. MicroStrategy, 252,000. U.S. government, 203,000. Chinese government, 100. 94,000, Bitfinex 189,000, Fidelity 186,000, Kraken 168,000, Block 164,000, and Robinhood 140,000. And the crowd is going wild. Bitcoin October is back in full swing. Let's not forget, last year, October, brought us 28% gains. We're only seeing 12% thus far. Uh, back in 2021, 39, virtually 40% gains. In 2020, year of the having as well. Year of the dragon this year, 27% uh, price gains. October in full freaking effect. And checking out some of the live charts, family. Live chart action Jackson for you today as Bitcoin surpasses 72,600. This is the one hour. We have a rising wedge, rising like a wedgie up in this mofo. We have a blue target sitting at 72.5. Send that mofo. And we have a bear target. But who cares what the bears think? You know what I mean? They're in hibernation mode right now. Just saying. <laughs> Somebody please do a welfare check on Peter Schiffmeister. Thank you, guys. Uh, here's the four-hour chart. Look at that. How many green engulfing candles in this mofo right now? Bullish pennant. JV is lit off the bit fiend. We have a blue target sitting at 81.3. In play, family. That could happen by tomorrow. Anything is possible is what I'm trying to say. 78.8, bullish pennant, four-hour chart lit like a Christmas tree. Early Santa rally. Let's motherfucking go. And checking out the daily chart. They're all lit. 
like a Christmas tree in this piece. We have one, two, three, four green consecutive daily closes, and today will be a big green daily close, and maybe we'll continue for the last couple of days, heading into the white paper birthday in two days on Halloween Day, family. And we got a Trump pump following one week from today. Next Tuesday's presidential election, Trump pump, send that mofo, honey G's in play. And checking out the one week, we still have the sexy cup and handle uh, target sitting at 124,000. Send that mofo and play for here in Q4 sometime. November, December, send that mofo. And uh, zooming out from here, let's check out the one month. The one month says bullish. We're going to get a very strong October close as expected, as we predicted. And then we're heading into November for the green momentum. Godzilla candles, send it. You already know. But let's continue with the news. We just broke down the latest astrology for the broskies. Let's continue to check out some of the headlines and what's crack a Bitcoin's path to 80 Gs, fueled by the bullish derivative trends. Send it. Bitcoin may surpass 80,000 before the end of 2024. Heck, we can pass 80,000 before the end of October. Just saying. As derivative markets and hodler profitability show significant bullish signs, according to a report by Bitfinex, the Bitcoin price be heading above 80 Gs based on the structure of the derivative markets. Biff and X analysts shared with the option market showing potential for a post United States election rally. Can I get a Trump pump, please? Uh, options market positioning indicates that over the past few weeks, end of the year options have seen a significant rise in call open interest. The December 27th expiry in the calls with an 80,000 strike price have been the primary areas of interest. You damn straight. The psychological resistance to 70 G's was just broken. And this was for the first time since June 10th with a Bitcoin price just shy, maybe 1% from the all time high because we're only a thousand away. Let's make it happen, Captain. The upcoming elections are also inspiring more optimism and the Bitcoin ETF buyers, which may also contribute to the Bitcoin price. You're damn right. October 28th, the U.S. spot Bitcoin ETFs recorded almost 500 million worth of net positive inflows. The second consecutive day above the 400 million mark, according to Farside data, the data don't lie. Check the scoreboard, broskies. Bitcoin ETFs inflows have been robust over the past 12 trading days, surpassing a cumulative 4 billion, according to Nate Jirasi, president of the ETF store. Uh, quoting him here, over the past 12 trading days, spot Bitcoin ETFs have taken in nearly $4 billion. For context, less than 10% of the 3,800 plus ETFs in existence even have $4 billion in total assets. And that happened within 10 freaking months. The ETFs didn't go live here in the States, at least the spot, until January 11th. So this is insane. BlackRock now has over 400,000 of those sexy biddies. Jirasi added BlackRock's iBid ETF have accounted for more than $2.6 billion of these inflows during in the past two weeks and a victory of Trump in the November 5th election one week from today, this Tuesday, family, uh, will widely be seen as a bullish development for the risk assets like the Biddy, which have correlated with the Trump rise on election odds, which continue to increase. Nearly 98% of the Bitcoin hodlers are in profit. So congratulations to each and every Bitcoiner watching the stream right now. Kudos, well-deserved. You held, you hodled, you did what you're supposed to do. Now you get to reap the rewards. Bitcoin all-time high, 100K in play, Senate. Over 97.6% of the Bitcoin hodlers were profitable on their investment as of October 29th, and that's only going to continue to climb along with the Bitcoin price. Still, the last time over 97% of the Bitcoin supply was in the green was all the way back on June 5th before the price fell from 71 to 56 within a month. So there you go, G.I. Joes and broskies. Let's dive into our next story of the day. And continue with the headlines. Uh, the Kingdom of Bhutan. Government moves 66 million of their Bitcoin stash to Binance as the price tops now 70. Three Gs were on the cusp of hitting 73 family. But anyways, Bhutan's government has started moving its quietly accumulated Bitcoin hodlings as the price soared above the 70,000 key psychological level. The Bhutan government labeled wallet transferred over 66 million worth of the biddy to a Binance deposit wallet, suggesting it intends to sell the biddy on the world's largest crypto exchange, Binance. The 66 and a half million was transferred in two transactions October 29th, according to Arkham Intelligence. As outlined right here on your screen, the government wallet began selling shortly after the biddy surpassed 70,000 for the first time since June 10th. Significant price levels like 70 Gs can lead to volatility, aka life, life force, including profit taken from the large Bitcoin hodlers known as the whales. Where are my whales at? That's whale-tastic, which can impact the price 
of the bitty. Now, there you go, yo. The Bhutan government wallet still holds approximately $886 million worth of the Bitcoin, which could create further selling pressure for the bitty, as the wallet has been mining and holding Bitcoin for over five years. Well, I'll tell you this. Anyone selling at a time like this is going to face deep regret. Do you hear me? I don't care if you're a sovereign wealth fund. I don't care if you're a nation state. I don't care if you're an individual or a pleb. You don't sell the Bitcoin. Hot will be thy name. Bitcoin mining has become a significant part of the Bhutan economy with the Bitcoin reserves accounting for over 27% of its 2.9 billion gross domestic product known as the GDP in 2023, according to the World Bank data. And in 2023, Bitcoin mining revenue from Bhutan's Druk holding investments was used to fund 50% salary increase for the public servants of the country. And that's according to the local media report. Port. And as of September, Bhutan held twice as much Bitcoin as El Salvador. Shout out Bukele, which adopted Bitcoin over three years ago and has netted 31 million in profits since making a bitty legal tender. Meanwhile, the U.S. elections and China's 1.4 trillion debt plan are fueling this Bitcoin rally. That's right. The Bitcoin price is becoming an uptrend bolstered by an array of macroeconomic bullish factors, and they will only continue. China's plan to potentially raise 1.4 trillion worth of fresh debt could pose a great buying opportunity, BTFD. And that's according to the BitMEX co-founder, Just Blaze. Arthur Hayes, quitting him here. Historically large liquidation infusions can lift risk assets as seen in the 2020 U.S. NOVID-19 stimulus following the significant NOVID-19 relief packages, including direct payments and expanded unemployment benefits. Bitcoin saw the strong upwards trend, increased money supply, and fears of inflation led investors to seek alternative cash. That's right. The Bitcoin price rallied over 400% from March of 2020 to early 2021. How many of you remember Remember the no-bid pump. I remember like it was yesterday. I doubled down on the biddy. However, the $1.4 trillion policy is unlikely to boost the prices in the short term, according to the analysts. Quoting them here, over the longer term, should China's stimulus stabilize its economy and possibly boost the global liquidity, Bitcoin can see increased buying as a hedge against inflation and currency risks across global markets. Liquidity injections such as this will continue to fuel the risk assets in general and Bitcoin in particular. So there you go, yo. So let me know your thoughts. On some of this, do you think the Bhutan government is selling some of this Bitcoin or just moving it? Emory University, anybody? Emory University holds 15 million of the Bitcoin. According to the latest filing, they accumulated Bitcoin ETF shares worth upwards of 15 million, according to the October 25th regulatory filing. This makes Emory, and that is Andrew Tate's father's name, believe it or not, Emory Tate. So uh, rest in peace, Emory. The first college endowment to report holding shares in a Bitcoin ETF, Eric Balchunas, Bloomberg ETF analyst, said in the October 28th post, Emory holds nearly 2.7 million shares of the Grayscale Bitcoin Mini Trust, worth nearly 15 million at the time of the filing, according to the disclosure quoting them here. With that, every institution type is now represented in the Bitcoin ETF 13Fs. Well, there you go. And referring to the public disclosures of large U.S. investment managers must file quarterly. The emergence of Bitcoin ETFs in January has helped legitimize Bitcoin as an asset class. Like we need Larry Finkster to legitimize Bitcoin as an asset class, but uh, whatever. Keep pumping our bags, Larry. Now go home and get your shine box, just saying. Spark and widespread adoption amongst the institutional investors. Bring it. The State of Michigan Retirement System reported investments in the spot Bitcoin ETF offered by the ARC 21 shares. The approximate value of the shares at this time was roughly 6.6 .6 million, just a small percentage of the fund's billions of dollars in assets. And crypto funds accounted for 13 of the 25 largest ETF launches this year by inflows through August, according to a post by Nate Jirasi, president of the ETF store. What kind of stuff do they sell at the ETF store? I would imagine Bitcoin ETFs. I don't know. Bitcoin has dominated the ETF landscape this year, accounting for six of the top 10 most successful launches of 2024 and several Ether ETFs launched in July, attracting upwards of a billion in net inflows to date. Now, issuers are seeking to register ETFs for other tokens, including Solana and XRP. In July, securities exchange CBOE asked regulators for permission to list Vanex and 21 shares plan Solana ETFs. In October, the ETF issuers Canary Capital and Bitwise will file for a proposed XRP ETFs. So there you go, yo. Bitcoin in full swing and the Nippinator is back with another indicator and the indicator never lies. But uh, let's continue with the news. Next story of the day, let's discuss the open interest then we'll discuss the million dollar prediction. Max, the prophet himself, predicted back in 2013, exactly 11 years ago today. We'll revisit it. But here we go. Bitcoin open interest nears 23 billion as analysts warns of a Bitcoin price. One of my favorite words, euphoria. Let's go. Bitcoin 
Bitcoin needs a stronger breakout to secure a multi-month long uptrend. According to analysts, uh, Bitcoin may be attacking resistance near the all-time highs, but still has some convincing to do. I don't know. I'm pretty convinced right now. What are your thoughts? Market strength is already making traders blind to the risks, according to the trader Kabar. He suggests everyone is trying to force their positions with their analysis. Markets do not care about your analysis or position. You step to the line and take what generates a signal for you. Now, analyzing the long-term pricey action, Kabar said the monthly candle closes above 73.7 were needed to confirm a reliable Bitcoin price breakout. I'm waiting for that monthly breakout. We may be here right now, yo. I dig on gold, or I did on gold, because that will be the smart multi-month long uptrend from the current levels. He also said, October is possibly closing at the horizontal resistance. Let's see what November brings in terms of the candle size. Godzilla candle, send it. I'm not saying anything, but Godzilla ain't got ish on me. And my Denzel impersonation, broskies. The post referenced earlier, the analysis from September, which nonetheless described Bitcoin pressuring the all-time high resistance. Super bullish. You can say that again. I'm not a bull or a bear, he says. I'm just trying to read the price chart for the possible advantage I can gain from the price action. I can say this with confidence. Any knee-jerk resistance I get in a post the bullish setup is because that person missed the pullback and hoping for the lower levels to get back on board. Now, other market commentators express concern over the mushrooming, mushrooms, yes, please, open interest across the trading venues. Psilocybin, please. But anyways, the risk management should be thorough. According to the Crypto Lion, a contributor to the on-chain analytics platform, Crypto Quant. Now, their data, as Estimated open interest at about $22.7 billion at the time of this recording. Fellow contributor Axel said, and I ain't talking about Axel Rose, that roughly 50% of the tally was held by the bears. Take that, bears. There's no need to hesitate in liquidating them to drive the price up. So there you have it. Yo, let me know if you agree or disagree with some of that analysis. But now, let's dive into our feature story of the day. A million dollar Bitcoin revisiting the one and only Max Geyser's 2013 prediction. Let's break this down. And here's the uh, prediction. Uh, Pete Rizzo points out Max Kaiser predicting a $1 million Bitcoin price exactly 11 years ago today. True at $200, true at $70,000. Uh, shout out to the high priest of Bitcoin, Max Kaiser, the one and only legend. And uh, why Max Kaiser is a Bitcoin legend, if you've never seen this post, this is worthy before we get into the prediction. Personal advisor to El Salvador's president, Bitcoin hodler since it was under a dollar. Not many. Many OGs can say I've been hodling the bitty since it was under a dollar. Not only that, but he has all the receipts. He's been telling you about Bitcoin since it was a dollar back in 2011 via the Kaiser Report with Stacey Herbert, the best financial show to ever be created. Not filled with FUD like the mainstream, but filled with the truth. Check it. Number two, on December 24, 2010, Max became the first mainstream journalist to profile Bitcoin. The price was just 30 cents. The records don't lie. Read the receipts, broskies. Number three, 2011. This is the infamous episode. Max was openly discussing why Bitcoin was a threat to government currencies. He called Bitcoin the story of the decade, the currency of the resistance, the global insurrection against banker occupation. Hang the bankers. We're running out of patience. Start with Jamie Dimon. I'm sick of all his statements. You feel me? Number four, when Bitcoin was a dollar in 2011, Max told Peter Shifty to buy the biddy. He didn't. And now Max trolls him relentlessly. Well-deserved Peter Shifty. Now Peter Shifty is hanging out at Walmarts at parties in Puerto Rico. You can't make this ish up. And <laughs> number five, in 2011, Max declared the biggest story of the decade. He nailed it. Facts. You can't argue with that. Number six, 2012. Max told Tim Pool to buy the biddy. He's now an investor and an advocate. Advocate. Everyone buys the Bitcoin at the price they deserve. Quoting Tim Pool, Max in 2012. Tim, I'm telling you to buy the biddy. Listen to us. You'll be rich. Me in 2012. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe me in 2023. Damn it. Right. Hindsight is 2020, they say. And at $30 in 2013, Max became the first Bitcoin millionaire in the world. He announced it. He proclaimed it. He says it feels great to be a Bitcoin millionaire. You run the math. That means Max is one of the biggest Bitcoin hodlers in the entire planet. But he lost it all in a boat and accident. What are you going to do? It happens sometimes. You know what I mean? Number eight, in 2014, Max gave podcaster Russell Brand 1,000 Bitcoin for free. He says he lost them. Well, didn't we all in a boating accident? They'd be worth 70 million today. 
probably a little more with today's price pump. Number nine, the president of El Salvador gave him a Bitcoin cake on his birthday. Look at that Bitcoin grenade. Bitty, bitty, boom. And shout out to our one and only fearless leader, Bukele. And in 2022, Max offered to pay Mexico's third richest man to put a Bitcoin logo on his personal jet. That's Ricardo Salinas. Max also uh, attributed to helping to orange pill the third richest man in Mexico. And guess what? Bitcoin has been his best investment, according to Ricardo Salinas, I've heard in an interview. And number 11, Max went on stage at the Bitcoin conference and did this after Tesla sold F. Elon. In fact, he went on a tour called F. Elon, keeping it 100. So, do you have a favorite Max moment? Do let us know. Now let's get a little deeper into the prediction uh, from this story, which was just published October 29th here today. And let's go. A decade-old interview with financial commentator Max Kaiser. The high priest has resurfaced, highlighting one of the earliest public predictions of the biddy reaching a million per coin. The 2013 forecast based on Bitcoin's potential share of the global Forex market offers an interesting historical perspective on early crypto price projections. And again, we got nothing but receipts to share with you today. Uh, speaking during the Bitcoin early years, Kaiser uh, characterized the crypto as a currency of the resistance, emphasizing the potential to enable dependent economic systems outside traditional financial structures. His analysis pointed to specific use cases, such as providing financial alternatives to countries like Greece facing economic challenges. The prediction drew from analysis by Rick Falkvinge, who projected Bitcoin to capture between 1% and 10% of the global Forex market. This share calculation of the market led to the price range estimate of 100000 to a million dollars per Bitcoin. Kaiser's commentary focused on the Bitcoin fundamental role in the challenging centralized economic control, describing the protocol as containing the seed of the revolution. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution is here. He specified, criticized, and centrally planned economies of Britain and the U.S., suggesting the biddy offered an alternative to systems controlled by the kleptocrats. That's right. And uh, so there you go. Max Kaiser, well ahead of his time, the one and only high priest. Let me know when you feel Bitcoin will likely smash that 1 million price target which we're talking about right now. Bitcoin to a million dollars per coin. Uh, let me know, family. I'm going to read your comments out loud. Welcome, everyone, to the Q&A segment of the live show as we continue to pump. 72.8. This is a week before the Trump pump. <laughs>